It's a new 2K out. Another year to make some moves. Another year for drama. Another year to bring the news. And the haters, they gon' hate, they all can. But brutal with the next video for y'all, man. The Boot Squad is an organization. And when you get in, you, you gon' learn all the basics. He gon' teach you how to win, he, he gon' touch, touch all the bases. It's our game. When we get the ball in the fourth, LeBron James. See ya, don't know. Your boy Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked then mean with a next video for y'all, man. So y'all know what it is by now. Take some time out, bless up your boy, like up the video. Definitely help the channel out, cause then everybody gonna always put y'all up on game and keep you up to date on everything in the 2K community. Now we talking about jump shots. I'm out here to help y'all out with this video. Y'all see the title. A lot of people been talking to me and telling me about them. It's hard to adjust with all the different varieties of jump shots and different timings and all that stuff so i'll give you all some tips to help you all out going forward and trust me after you all done with this video it'll make your life so much easier now let's start off right here man with this clip real quick now i'm gonna slow down this video real quick so y'all could see the catch and shoot and the different timings with the catch and shoot now i did capture this clip as soon as the ball touched the hand and check out the different animations and the different timings now this is something we have to get used to in 2k where you catch it based on where you are and both of those were set basically me just standing in the spot with my hands up waiting for the ball and it was that different one of them and want y'all to check out the clip again one of them the ball barely reached by my shoulders the next one he put the ball all the way down to the pocket now how can i prepare for this before every single jump shot it goes with laser focus man i ain't gonna lie this is not a game you could go by timing at all just by something as simple as that it's already you already see two different jump shot timings right so the key is knowing the release point and it's the same every single time that's the one consistent with all these jump shot timings the different catches the step backs the fades it's all about knowing that release point now, i'm gonna slow these clips down so y'all could see and i could show y'all where the release point for my jumpers and with most jumpers that are using their early release timing now this might vary based on what time you decide to use so if you use very early it might be slightly earlier or late or very late it's probably going to be later but with early as far as the release timing as soon as that ball reach over the shoulder for all my releases right over the shoulder i like to say the ball is my face that's when i release the shot and it's perfect it works for fades it works for step backs it works for damn near every jump shot you see as it's soon as you reach over here and it just locked my face that's when i release it now of course you know because i slow it down look like there's a huge win window but it's not trust me in game speed is a very small window and as soon as you reach over your face just like that that's when i release it on early now you might have to go ahead and practice a few times and learn it for whatever time you got i'm talking about these pull-ups right here over my shoulder i release it so no matter what jump shot i take no matter in what situation i'm always looking for that animation and that's the catch with the shooting you can no longer go by timing because even if you stand like this right look at how we drive right here now i'm standing i'm waiting i just slightly move it might be a slightly different timing but as soon trust me as soon as that ball touch over my head i know all right bro, you've got to release it here it's money now our next hint or our next tip i want to give to y'all real quick i said hint but our next tip i want to give to y'all is how to do off ball catch and shoot situations what y'all seeing right here is me holding down that left trigger keeping my hands up to reduce some of the fumbles and i don't even have catch and shoot on this build because that's a third tier badge and i just don't have the amount of shooting badges to really equip that badge but what i notice is once you hold that left trigger it lifts your hands up in a catch or ready to catch and shoot situation and it definitely helps reduce a lot of fumble catches y'all and that's something y'all might want to add to your game i actually saw someone did a tutorial on this but this is just a little a little um side note and my guy gambit told me that 
earlier this year and he's been doing that ever since you know gambit he's one of my best off ball players and one of the best in terms of a center who could catch and shoot at a high efficient rate by far one of the best things y'all could add to your game if you play off ball now one thing y'all didn't hear me mention was shooting badges of course i got some recommendations for y'all as well if you're off ball claymore is one of those badges you definitely have to equip if you like to do a lot of step back space creator is a badge you must um some on side note add agent free one of the best shooting badges in the game as well amp you don't need to use clutch shooter is something i like to add there just to give me a little extra boost when it comes down to clutch situations and you could vary whatever level you got i know with my center a lot of these badges i could only equip on silver y'all to be honest i know the shooting badges are so overrated but they do help a little bit just a little bit but don't stress yourself out too much when it comes to the shooting badges if you're someone who likes to take a lot of midis midi magician might be that especially if you like to do a lot of post fade but overall don't stress too much on the badges those don't really affect your jump shot as much as just learning that release point again if you use early i recommend as soon as that ball hits your face or hit right over the shoulder it's very simple i already show you all the release timing that you all need to check out if you play off ball a lot hold down that left trigger to help just catch the ball without as much fumbles as a lot of people receive that's because they're not holding down that left trigger and preparing their player to really catch the ball that's something i suggest you all add to your game as well now anyways man hopefully this video helped you all out now, if you are still having trouble and looking for some jump shots, I did upload a video and I'm, the title is the last jump shot video you will need. That video got jump shots for every build with every three point rating in the game. Trust me, you will get covered with that video. And a lot of people have been loving that video, been helping them out big time. And of course, once you apply these, all these tips that I actually showed in this video, trust me you won't be worried about missing your jump shots and even you, you you'll be able to predict if you mistimed it or not because this time around it's all visual no longer timing you have to watch the screen and know when that jump shot hit that sweet spot or that animation hit that sweet spot for you to get consistent greens man so hopefully this video help you all out y'all know what it is your boy Simon. and by the way if y'all still not didn't find that jump shot that y'all need check out nba 2k labs and use the code brutal sim and you won't get a nice discount off man uh, something like around what 10 20 percent all right and then you won't get a lot of data on jump shots but trust me if y'all check out that video that i dropped you won't have everything y'all need y'all got the animation i use early if y'all a lot of people ask what release i use timing i use release timing on early and that's been water for me bro this is the best i've shot y'all trust me in any 2k this is the best i've shot i got a lot of builds a lot of different timings a lot of different heights a lot of different three point ratings my center got an 83 point rating i'm doing step backs just because i apply these rules man anyways y'all y'all know what it is your boy sim hopefully this video help you all out have a blessed one till next time if you're first time to the channel make sure like share and subscribe be safe out there y'all peace